Hello and welcome to the show today. We are joined by a guest that goes by the name of The Brain. He's a leading mental and emotional strategist in the UK, all coming up on the show. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. And I'm joined by Kevin Bennett, who is The Brain. Kevin, I'm glad you didn't go away to pick some other's brain. <laughs> yeah, I want to pick your brain some more. Yeah, Kevin, yeah sure, <laughs> let's do this. <laughs> Kevin, listen, um, listening to you earlier, and yeah. uh, you often speak of time mm -hmm. and analysis of time as a cause of anxiety, yeah. whether relating to successful relationship or Caribbean worrying. Yeah. How does one go about finding a balance between living in the moment and still adhering to limits set by time? That's a very good question. Yeah. Here's the thing. Any time you think about time, mm -hmm. yeah, any time you think about time, I'm yeah? thinking about time now. Right? <laughs> time equals fear. Yes. When you think about, I'm getting older, I need to be somewhere, mm. look what's happened, time always equals fear. So just like this, work commitments. Yeah. Deadlines. Yes. There's a fear factor there, I've fear. got to be there. Fear, time, wow. any time you, you, you analyse time, yeah. fear kicks in. Yes. It's always down to you being under some form of pressure to either achieve or, and when I say achieve, achieve also means I am getting older, I need to. Mm. There's a lot of women that I work with, they say, I'm getting older, I need to have a family, I need to. Have a so child or something like that, yeah. It's always fair. So when you analyse time, when you look at time, and when you accept time as your world, mm. you are constantly in a place of fear or some mm. form of anxiety. So anyone who plans and trying to work with deadlines and time frames, you're saying that's fair? Or you're I'm saying, saying it, 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 see, depending on who you are, yes. you can either manage it well yes. or you can't. Yes. Yeah. But nevertheless, it creates some form of emotion within you. You know, sometimes if I am supposed to have a telephone call with someone yeah. or whatever, and they say, you say you're always busy. I say, no, no, no. I create time. Well, I, I, I say that, uh -huh. mean to say that I don't really create time, but mm -hmm. I make time. Mean mm -hmm. to say I factor time. Mm -hmm. Mean to say, like with Facebook, mm -hmm. I always say, I use Facebook. Facebook don't use me. Mm -hmm. Mean to say, yes. I will not respond to someone just because they want me to respond to yes. them yes. at their time. Yes. And I will not, um, you know, mean to say, mm -hmm. I'm in control. Yeah. And it, so you're more creating space yes, yes. more than time. Mm. Yeah. Because you're creating space because you're saying within this moment, mm. I'm going to choose to yes. be a part of it or not a part of it yes. from another person's perspective. Because you're always in your time. Yes. You're always in your time. So it, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a crazy thing. And I, and I explained to you like this, mm. right? Can a knife cut itself? Can scales weigh itself. So mm -hmm. a knife can cut everything around it, but it can't cut itself. Or in America, they say, yeah. can a gun fire by itself? Right, exactly. Mm. Yeah. Can eyes see itself? Eyes mm. can see everything, but it can't see itself. Mm. Yeah. So when you go so far back within mm -hmm. yourself, you can observe everything what's going on, mm -hmm. but you know you are not it. Well, that, 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 that's very deep and that's, that's, very, that, mm -hmm. that's very powerful. And mm -hmm. I was looking at a part of your bio where, where it talks about like, Helping work with depression and all this. They yeah. talk about the use the feeling assessment system. Principal yes. Bennett first assess your feeling. Yes. Five. How do you feel? Why? Yes. How would you love to feel? Mm -hmm. Why? Mm -hmm. Action steps and now to defeat your depression, other emotional challenge. So, yeah. so if someone is listening now and they say, I want to access Kevin Bennett, the brain. Mm -hmm. How do they pick your brain? Or do you gain? Or do you get it? They get access to you for you to pick their brain. Um, well, I've been. I've got videos out there. Yeah. I do a lot of um, workshops in universities mm. and companies and um, government bodies and so on and so forth. So I get mm. hired to do, you know, to help yes. people in masses. Yes. And there's been a few times as well. Um, we done an event in uh, um, an event in Edgware Road, West End. Yes. And a woman said, I'm going through this. Can you help me with this right now in front of everyone to yeah. see? I think I've got a video of it as yeah. well. 
So I had to put her through a basic hypno, um, hypnotizer. Your hypnotizer? And, yeah. Okay. Yeah, very basic one. Mm. And then what I'd done, I got her to climb out of herself, yeah, you know, mm. mentally. Mentally, yes. Yeah, and then look back at herself. And then we started to get rid of the things that she wasn't happy of, mm. uh, about. And then we joined her back together, mm. mentally and emotionally, mm. joined her back together. And then she was in a stronger place. Because mm -hmm. remember I said, the science is very simple. Mm -hmm. The science is simple, it's the same thing we talk about with playing a game of pool or snooker, mm -hmm. yeah? When you come out of the situation, you can look back at the shots, mm -hmm. yeah? But it's deeper than that. It's, I'm being a bit, you know, flippant. You're, you're skirting around yeah, it. Yeah, I'm skirting yeah, yeah, around yeah, 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 yeah. it. When you look at it from a deep perspective, we're all made of energy. We're yeah. made of atoms, yeah? Mm -hmm. But inside atoms like protons, electrons, neutrons, quarks, and so on mm. and so forth. So I first look at what energy state that person's in. Because, and this is where words have relationships to energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah? So if you so think what you about... speak. Yeah, what you, well, even the self-conversation, you don't need to say it out loud. Mm. Because self-conversations bring you in a mood or bring you out of a mood, right? Mm. You can turn around and you can think about someone and you feel a glow, you feel mm. happy. Or you think about another person, you're angry. Yeah. So it doesn't need to be external. It can, it's also an internal conversation. Which comes back to the whole emotion, is what emotion exactly. that it conjures up. Exactly, and that's what it is. So what I need to do is you have a thing inside of you called, um, we all do have like a gases inside of our brain, and mm. one is called dopamine, yeah, mm. where, where the word dope comes from. And it's like a sorting office. Yes. It stores things accordingly. Yes. Yeah? So I'll give you a prime example. Why is it that some people would say, an apple tastes really nice and, it's, and it smells really mm. good. And another person will say, an apple smells horrible mm. and, um, and it tastes horrible as well. Because the time of us dissecting that thing at that time, mm -hmm. what was going on in our world? Is it just like the water in the glass? It can be half filled or half empty? No, no not, not exactly. Like... Not exactly. Yeah. And I'll explain the reason why. I'll, I'll mm. show you too. What happens is this. Imagine you go to taste an apple for the first time. Mm. You bite into, into the apple. At that time, a rubbish truck was driving past. Okay. So the it. smell of yeah. the rubbish truck is stored with the taste of the apple. Mm. Imagine at that time, some people's having an argument. The emotions of that environment is stored with the apple. Mm. Mm. So now, when you think about that apple... All of those things is combined together. Right. So my goal is when someone thinks about the pain of their life, the pain of certain mm. things that's going on in their world, I have to go back into their world and rewrite the story. Mm. Get them to retaste the apple again and separate uh, it. Separate environments and everything like that. Separate everything. And that's what it's about. It's about going back into someone's world and rewriting their story. So it's like unlearning process. It's like you have to unlearn to relearn. You have to unlearn it, yes. But is that the Maslow theory? Unlearn to relearn or something like that? Um, kind of. Yeah, yes, yeah. kind of. Yeah. This is deep I, stuff, man. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's like, yeah. how much time do you have? Because yeah. I, I really would love to go into it with a fine tooth comb. Mm. Because mm. one part alone we can talk about for 10 hours yes. and not repeat ourselves. Yes. So when I'm explaining it, some people are like, it doesn't make sense. I'm like, it won't make sense for yes. you right now because it's so deep. So I'm trying my best to explain it from a a place where it's easy to digest. Yes, yes. But the easiest way to explain, as I said, is anytime we do something, everything that we do around mm. that time yes. is, is stored within that moment. Mm -hmm. So someone may say, I don't like to make love. I hate making love. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Why do they feel that way? What was happening around that time? Past experiences or stuff Past like experiences, mm -hmm. yeah? Were they hurting at the time or the first time that mm -hmm. it happened? Mm -hmm. What was the situation? So all of it is combined together. So we have to go back and find out in each section, why did they feel that yes. way? What was the environment at that time? It's interesting. All of that, and then rewrite all of it. You have mm -hmm. to rewrite every single part and then join it back together again. And that's why I say it's way past us being an inspirational speaker. Well, 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 Kevin, well Kevin, I mean, that, that's very awesome. And, and yeah. what can I say? But, you know, I, I want to wrap up. And, yes. um, and, and this is going to be something else. You know, what would you say then as a brains, as a person that dissect? <laughs> mm -hmm. What words would you say that is your keyword mantra for people? That you How use? much time do I have? 
Well, you got enough. <laughs> you got enough time until I say wrap up. Wrap up. Okay. Which is like a minute. <laughs> All right. I'll explain it because it's important that it's yeah. not just a word that um, you know. I'm not sure that I'm going to say. Yeah. It, just it, 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 good. Is, it is something that um, means a lot to you, not just for people, but something that that I've learned from that helps me get yeah, through. Yeah, personally. So that you yeah. go back to at different times. You know? Okay, I'm yeah. going to explain, and it, and it helped me throughout my yes. life. Yes, My mantra is, feel good right now. Feel good right now. Not feel good. And I'll tell you the reason why, mm. and I've got probably 30 yes. seconds yes. to explain it. Yes. Throughout history, mm. when people said, I want to feel good, they say, I want to feel good, for example, and it's subconscious a lot of times, mm. I want to feel good when I get married. Yes. I want to feel good when I pass my exams. I want to feel good when, I get, when, they, when they say they... I was linked to a program yesterday and yeah. they've said, if they get a million bucks from... Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Right, so the question is, what happens between day zero and day million bucks? Mm. Yeah? That might be 10 years. Yes. So purposely they sabotage themselves, which then leads into a place of frustration, then depression. Yes. So feel good right now means you're in your moment. Mm. No matter what is happening right now, I have to do something strategically or mentally or emotionally to feel good right in this moment, which then leads me onto another moment yeah. that makes me say, Kevin, how do I feel right now? Don't feel great. Do something to feel good right now. So just do it. Just do it. But feel good right now because your feelings will lead on to actions. And there's four stages of it. Yes. Stage number one, your belief system. Yes. Stage number two, your potential. When you believe, you see mm. potential. Stage number three, action. Stage yeah. number four, results. This is the mm. success cycle of us, and this is the failure cycle of us. If we don't believe, we don't see the potential. Mm. If we don't see the potential, we don't take action. If we don't take action, we don't get results. If we don't get results, we say, see, I told you I'm not good enough. Fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, Kevin, we've got to pause there. Yes. And I'm going to say, I'm not saying this show is finished, I'm just saying we're pausing there for, for next time. <laughs> yes. you know? Listen, what you have heard and what I've heard is really puff powerful and really profound. And the brains, talking about dissecting the brain, yeah. that's really powerful. Yeah. And about um, feel good now. Yes. I mean to say, just do it. Whatever situation you're in, I'm going to sound like an inspirational speaker though. Whatever situation you're in, Kevin, the brain said, feel good now. What is it between what will make you feel good and now? Do it. Yes. And don't wait until then. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, to find out more about our guest, Kevin Bennett, please visit our website. And of course, you'll see a link for Kevin as well. And thank you also to our viewers for joining us. And remember to share, like, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Silburn TV. But also remember to comment on the YouTube channel as well and our platform, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thank you for watching and see you next time on The Silver Show. Hi. Thanks for watching our video. If you like what you see, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and share and like, and don't forget to comment, but first subscribe. Hey guys, my name's Kevin Bennett. I've just been on The Silborn Show. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's amazing, you'll love it. Tune in now.